Welcome to Rootstem Gaming and I'm down at Granger's house for a 2000 point new Gene Steeler Colt Codex Yay! Uh, versus Granger's Imperial Guard. We've rolled up four of the missions, we're going to use tactical objective cards, I don't normally do that on my channel because I like to have a single mission where it goes down to the wire, but we've managed to roll up on the 2018 chapter approved Scars of Battle and there is a, a nice little thing here called Lost Communications. So before, it was supposed to be before the first battle round, but what we've done, because you've got to remove six cards due to refined strategy from your deck, we've rolled that already before showing you before showing you guys the, um, the, the armies that we've got, simply because it's just going to be easier. Grange got a two, so he's now got to remove all the tactical objectives, number 21 to 26, from his deck. And he's got to remove up to six. Well, he can select up to six of your tactical objectives and remove them if you want to. So he's going to have a very small deck compared to mine. Because I got off six, I'm not actually losing any. Right. Um, we'll get... We're going to pick a deployment zone. We're going to roll off to see who's going to be deploying. But you guys will see that in a moment. Uh, so let's get towards some armies. I think I'm going to actually look at Granger's first. Right then, let's take you through 2k of Imperial Guard. So, Jeez. Hmm? Cheese. Cheese. Cheat. I doubt for total. You suddenly rocked up with two Liam and Russes from nowhere, so I don't know what you're saying <laughs> cheat for. <laughs> I've purposely thrown in no anti tank. <laughs> anyway, we're taking two battalions today. Uh, so, Jeez. first of all, we're going to be taking ooh, a company commander. And a Lord Commissar. Uh, company Commander is going to be my Warlord for today. He's going to have the Cadian specific Warlord trait, uh, Supreme Tactical Training or something like that. And he's also going to have the uh, Kurov's Aquila. I think we'll go with that one for today. Uh, troops choices in there are going to be five units of a Guardsman. Each one of those units is just rocking a Flamer and a Vox. Uh, and then, in the heavy support slots, we have three weapons teams, three auto cannons, three mortars, and three missile launchers. Uh, also going to be taking in fast attack for there, a hellhound. Um, then I've also got three elite choices, which are going to be two priests, one with a chain sword, one with a shotgun. And the third of each choice is over here, and oh, is four crusaders. Uh, moving on to the second detachment, which is again another battalion. We're going to be starting with a company commander with plasma pistol and Yarrick. Not taking Yarrick for ages because I've not fought all these orcs. Um, so we'll see how it rocks in something that isn't orc based. Uh, then for troops for those, we've got. Another four units. Those units have got a Vox and a Plasma throughout, and two of them are rocking heavy weapons, which are one heavy bolter and one auto cannon. Uh, heavy support slots in there. We've got a Manticore, a Weven, and a ooh, heavy, heavy mortar, which again I don't tend to take very often because it's typically rubbish. So I thought what we'd do is. When Fran sideswipes me with all these new units, I'd play something I don't typically play. Um, then on to the elite slot for there. What I've taken is one unit of Bulgrins with three slab shields and one one with a root shield and the Bulgrin Maul. Ditto on that unit. And I've also taken an Ogrim Bodyguard. Something to sit and look after Yarrick as he goes wading through all these cultists. Not cultists, what are you? I am cultist. Oh, yeah, yeah, cultist, yeah, 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 I am cultist. Yeah. Um, and then just to round off the list, I'm taking a little bit of transportation. So we're looking at three Chimera, one, two, and three. Uh, one's got an heavy bolter, and one's got stubber, hunter killer missile, and a couple of heavy flamers. Uh, I think that rounds off that 2,000 points. Anyway, we'll take you over to Fran's completely new Gene Steeler cult list. Well, cheers, Fran. Hello there guys, right, this is 2,000 points worth of um, Gene Steeler Colts. I'm taking the Twisted Helix Colt Creed, so that means all my units, except Gene Steeler ones, get a plus one strength, and of course if I advance, I add two to my advance rolls. Pretty decent. Um, now, apologies in advance for unpainted figures, I've acquired some new figures, which I didn't have time, because this game was arranged on the fly, really. 
uh, to get these sorted and painted. Um, so I apologise for that in advance. Now I've got three detachments, to me. one battalion, to me. one with all the heavy support choices, and one with three elite choices. I can never remember what they're called. I'm never going to learn what they're called. It's just one with the heavies, one with the elites. And if you look it, one with the fast attacks. <laughs> so, so we're going to go over the battalion first. We've got two Gene Stealer Patriarchs. The one with the larger base is going to be my Warlord. He's going to have the Relic um, Amulet of the Void Worm. So basically, I've got a plus one to my saving throws, which saving throws is anything that requires a save. So it doesn't say armor. And uh, it also it means that he cannot actually be overwatched, which is quite nice. Um, he's also going to carry Smite, Mass Hypnosis, and Might from Beyond Psychic Power. So you can pick any Gene Stealer Cult infantry or biker unit within 18 inch and add one to the strength and attack characteristics of all models in that unit until the start of the next Psychic Phase. That is going to be pretty tasty. His Lieutenant, as it were, the Lieutenant Gene Stealer Patriarch. That's <laughs> accompanying him, his little brother. Um, he's basically just going to be rocking the normal stuff. He's got Mental Onslaught. Uh, which means that I can try and nullify. He's also got Smite and Mass Hypnosis. All my Psychers have Mass Hypnosis. I know you can only cast it once, but they can only cast one power per turn, my Psychers, anyway, because I've got no Familiars. Now, I've also taken a uh, Icon Bearer, um, the Acolyte. I've forgotten what it's called, personally, but he's just going to have a standard, a standard, standard. There we go, look at that. <laughs> uh, they're backed up by three units of Neophyte Hybrids. Um, they're all a mixture. I used to have these as like a kind of like a brood brother unit, but when I built the army, Gene Steeler cults didn't actually exist. These were the models that you see the in guard ones were actually conversions and kit bashes all the way back in fourth edition 40k. That's how long I've held onto those models. Um, so they're basically now just going to be merged into my normal units. So that's just going to be one squad with a sergeant, last pistol, close combat weapon, two grenade launchers. This unit is going to be Sergeant with a Chainsaw and Last Pistol, two Flamers, and then the unit behind them is just going to be a Sergeant with the big red trousers. If you ever played certain board games, you'll know what that means. Two Mining Lasers and a Grenade Launcher. They're also going to be backed up by 16 Neophyte Hybrids. I think it's Neophyte Hybrids. It's the other Hybrids, a decent Acolyte Hybrids, maybe. I don't know, the ones with more arms. Uh, they're going to have a Captain with a Bone Sword and Lash Whip. Uh, and then of course a rock drill, rock cutter, rock saw, and they're all going to be strength 5 in this game due to the Twisted Helix specials. They're also going to be backed up by three, that's, glue is just drying on uh, on the magnets for those, but backed up by three sentinels, again apologies for the non-painted, two last cannons and a multi-laser, they're all independent units. The elite one is the Magus, he's again going to have smite, mass hypnosis and psychic stimulus. So if I cast it on a Gene Stealer Colts Infantry unit within 18 inches, they're allowed to charge even if they're advanced. So that, hence why I'm having the plus two there with the advanced rolls. Um, got five, yes I know it's an unpainted hybrid, it's an unpainted, yeah, one of those. Adamant, that's it. Uh, so I do have one unpainted adamant because those four came with the original box set, I think it was of the, the one where the Colts versus the Death Watch. And then that adamant was uh, now recently added as it came in the post yesterday and I built it up this morning to make sure I had a unit of five to play this game with. And then two 15-man units of Gene Stealers. These are quite expensive. They're 225 points each, 15 points a model. Not the greatest. I'm hoping they're not going to get shot up to hell. And then I've got the heavy support one. That's got a Magus lead in it. His rules have changed slightly where it's meticulous planner Basically, on the turn that he turns up from reserve, any unit within six can reroll ones to wound. So it's changed a lot rather than him rolling 2d6 and seeing whether or not you can turn up one inch away, which used to be quite cool. Now it's just going to be kind of normal now. Then I've got a rock grinder with a seismic cannon. Seismic cannon's got better. Uh, more shots and heavy, more heavier duty. Uh, this, of course, is now a cheaper vehicle as well. And the grinding gear at the front is no longer weapon skill 5, it's weapon skill 4. So that's actually quite decent when it gets into combat now with units. Definitely going to be purchasing, I think, some more rock grinders. And then two, sorry, unpainted, Lee Cult, Lee and Russ Battle Tanks. One with the plasma. Now, I've mentioned this to Grange. The plasma cannon in the Cult Codex is the old plasma cannon. 
It's not allowed to have grind in advance in the cult codex. It's if you roll a one to hit with it, I cause if I overcharged it, that is, I cause myself six mortal wounds and a weapon can no longer fire. So I am a bit I don't know, it's a bit strange with that, to be honest with you. Uh, it's also got three heavy flamers. So you know what that tank's going to be doing. It's just going to be rolling forward. <laughs> Takes with one hand, gives yeah. with the other. So I'm just going to rock that forward. Next one I've got a converted uh, battle cannon because of course I bought these second hand. So that's just a battle cannon unit. That does have grind in advance for some reason. And it's got two melters, two multi-melters and a last cannon. So that's designed for some anti-tank use. Right, uh, we've got hammer and anvil. We've got the objectives down on the table. Objective four is over there, number two, that's number five, number three, number six, and I'm actually missing one, I'm slowly panning because I know some people get sick with this. Number one over there, I'm going to be this side of the table, range is going to be this side of the table, a lot of line of sight blocking terrain pieces, these pieces, if you've seen our battle reports before, they do count as cover when you are on them. And they are pretty good at blocking line of sight, so it's going to be uh, narrow gully time, I think. So possibly Granger's guard on manoeuvres and then me suddenly turn up. He has got some artillery though, which is always naughty, but there we are. And I've not taken oh, any yeah. artillery this yeah. time round. Yeah, yeah. You have to go along with your blip, 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 blip. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> with your naughty. Right, so we're going to set up. <laughs> Um, I picked the deployment zone, so in actual fact Grange sets up his entire army first. I set up second, and then Grange gets first turn, or if I seize, I get first turn. So, we'll see what happens with this. Right then, Grange, well, let's get set up and ready. Okay, so Hammer and Anvil deployment is down. Grange's miniatures matches terrain, so it does look a little bit difficult to try and see <laughs> on the camera. Um, but we've got a Hellhound... Various infantry squads down here. He's got a lot of flamers. Cheeky sod. Uh, some auto cannons, some missile launchers, some more guys trying to spread himself out so that I can minimise the nine inches uh, for me to be able to turn up. Which is going to be really, really irritating, I think, to be honest. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So Grange is all set up. Various different infantry squads all over the shop. He's even got his Inquisitorial Chimera, which is not an Inquisitorial Chimera. No, no, it's, it's, it's uh, Yarrick's. It's Yarrick's Chimera. Um, yeah, with his stuff and his twin heavy flamers. I'm glad it's just heavy flamers because he can't advance and still fire them because they are heavy, which is all right. Um, so I think they are from a heavy one, unless we'll check it anyway. Um, and then across to my deployment. <laughs> Red markers. There we are. Now, just to let you guys know, I've played two stratagems. I had ten command points to start with. I've played two stratagems already. Clandestine goals, which basically means that I don't show Grange my objectives. I keep them hidden. And the first curse on this unit of gene stealers, the one with all the high ups. Um, they've rolled a three. So basically they're going to plus one to their advance rolls and charges. And I've got eight command points left. Right then, sir. So Grange is going first regardless, apparently. Unless I can seize. Which, I'll be honest, means Grange is going first regardless. That's a one. Because <laughs> this is what happens with these games workshop dice. Look, you're supposed, that symbol's supposed to be there. God damn you. Okay, so what happens is, I keep all my blips here. Grange moves, and then of course we'll look at his cards in a minute. Grange moves, and after he's moved, at the end of his movement phase, I then put my units down. So some of these, depending on stratagems, some of these blips might not even exist. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, it's all... Uh, all a bit clandestine, all a bit wrong and rude. Right, okay then, sir. Go. So just before his movement, Grange has uh, drawn his cards. He's got Witch Hunter. He's 
score victory points over, which is, of course, is the Patriarchs or the Magus. Area Denial. One of us always draws that. Whenever we play this game, we always seem to draw that card first turn. And that's pretty much a guaranteed D3 victory points, because there's going to be no way on God's green earth uh, but I'm not going to be within 12 inch at the end of his turn. <laughs> so, and then defend objective four. Def the objective four is all the way over there. So Grange will probably... Not probably. He will be ditching that yes, one at the end of his turn. <laughs> right then, sir. Do you move? So Grange has shimmied up with certain units. These two units have ran. Uh, Hellhound moving forward. And of course, the, uh, some of these units should still soon move forward. His Chimeras are moving up on that flank as well. And he's tried to make sure that he's keeping his nine inch bubbles everywhere. <laughs> but I have now placed, I uh, used a command to basically have three blips suddenly go into ambush. So all of those are now effectively in reserve, which is pretty cool. And then I've got my Goliath Rock Grinder. Uh, that's got the Adderant, same with the Magus. And then I've got the two. Uh, Lehman Russes, and then I've got the three Sentinels over that side. So I've not got a lot on the tabletop to start with. I may take a bit of a hit and a pounding, um, but there's a lot of line of sight blocking terrain. I which can't, I can't see anything. From. Range did map the table before. Uh, <laughs> can you not see anything? <laughs> you can't see anything from. Right, okay. Uh, but it is Granger's shooting phase. He's got no psychers. What are you firing, sir? Right, what we'll start with then. Ooh. In my orders. Yep. He's going to go one of these yep. to take um, the mortar team. I'm going to fire onto that, that, no that bubble. sentinel. So 3D6 gonna... shots. No shots. So that's 12 shots. Not bad. He needs threes to hit. But Sorry, fours to hit. Fours to hit. Because he's Cadian. He gets to re-roll. It's a really, really dodgy roll, roll that, to be honest. Oh yeah, it says you've yeah. only got three units on the table. Uh, yeah, but all mine are uh, glass cannons, my friend. So, it's not yours Lee are not. It's not Lehman Ross, they're not glass uh, cannons. I don't know what toughness that is, so roll, and then we'll find out. Because <laughs> I've never used one before. Right. All right. I think that might only be about three. Here we had a look. The toughness six with a three plus armour. And I actually did roll those off camera. There they are. And I've got three saves. So Grange is going to go with one rocket launcher, see. taking aim into the Goliath Rock Grinder. I am in cover and I am 50% obscured, so I will get a plus one to my saving throws. Hit so he does fire. hit and it does wound. I believe the save on these is four, which would increase to three. Minus for two would make it a five. I got a four, so we'll check that in a minute. And then it's D6 wounds. So four wounds. I'm not Mills. And rugged construction means that on sixes I ignore these. So I ignore two of them. Yeah, wonderful. So just two just wounds on the rock grinder. Right, so two wounds have gone off that. Now Granger's declared overlapping fields of fire, so he's cheating. And he's gonna <laughs> he's firing his heavy mortar into it. And it's how many shots is it? D6? D6. For so one. One. So command point, I'm guessing. Not yet. Not yet. No. So one shot, needing a free. It hits. Strength six. So it needs a five. No. And it bounces off. They have pretty much, yeah, it's now toughness seven, so it's not so bad now. Right then. Um, they've upgraded it a little bit. It's still got more artillery to come though. Manticore. Yep. Same target. Same target, 2d6 shots. 2d6 shots. Ten. <sighs> Every time I play it down the grade, it's <laughs> You know, you play with Manticores though. You know how brutally I do. well I do. Are. Go on in, sir. We roll your ones for uh, Kadia. Which are numerous. And he gets a plus one to hit as well, because doesn't that apply to all units firing at that? At uh, that unit, yeah. yeah. For how many command points? Uh, two. Oh, that's not so bad, not so bad. Need him freeze. Wow. Still, that's enough to try and kill it. So that's four wounds um, that's gone through. Yeah. Now, it's on a plus one, so it's on a three, because of cover. It is 50% obscured at least. So I'm going to need five, because it's minus two. Yeah. So I get one. So it's 3d3 worth of damage. I knew that were coming. <laughs> I just knew that were coming. Six, seven, eight, nine. I need at least two sixes to survive. Every time. 
Right. Many One, sixes. two, three, four sixes. So, I would have taken nine wounds. Uh, eight, seven, six. So I'm taking five wounds. So that leaves it on three. Right. Wyvern's going to go into the rock grinder. Oh. Uh, that's not too bad. I'm starting to not uh, not hit you now. Oh, okay. uh, six, seven, eight, nine shots. But it's the freeze to hit and re-roll in ones. This is what's... Yeah, this is what uh, grinds my gears. You got that one? There's that one in there as oh. well, mate. And that one there. Which has converted both of them into hits. Now, the strength of the wyvern is four, isn't it? It is, and it does re-roll to wounds. Yeah, so you're going to need fives. That's stars. two. Which is... It. Gonna be enough if he gets a couple more here. And two. Four. Now, do you? There's no minus on the wire. No minus, no. So I'm on freeze. One goes through, and I'm on a six. No. So I'm down. Two wounds left off this unit. Great. Awesome sauce. Right. So his hellhound is now gonna fire into that. So it is within 16, so 2d6, auto hits, 5. Uh, strength of this thing is only 6, so I still think it's 5. 5 to wound. 1. Just the 1. Plus 1, minus. Ooh, 1. So I need a 4. I no. don't get it. I need a 6. I don't get it. Down to 1. He's got his heavy bolt to left, which is fives because he moved, but fours because of overlapping fields of fire. Uh, that's two hits. You need fives. That's one, six. <sighs> that's a save. Ah. God for that. Right. A bit of measuring. Bit of measuring. Yeah, All right. Again. All right. Heavy yep. waters from this. Into the back of your uh, rock grinder. Yep. Bit in on fives. Fours. Fours. Overlapping fields of fire. Oh, I know yeah. your rules better than you sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Rules. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. None. Nothing. It's alright then. Uh, this one's going to re rinse and repeat. Yeah. So yeah. I'm heavy bolter first. Yep. Yeah. Two hits. Lovely. Saved them both. <laughs> and then multi laser. Multi -laser. Wait. Doesn't wound. Toughness? Toughness seven. Seven, mother hubbard. Yes, the rock grinder is now been upgraded. It is quite tough. It's taken a good hit there, to be honest with you. Right. Any more shooting? It's just the hunter killing me. All right, he's going to fire a HKM. One shot wonder, needing a five. Bang. Uh, Wounded. Yeah, you know. <sighs> Go on. Damage of three. I need number at least. Nope. Does it explode? Nope. Six men inside. Lose one. You taking your magos off? I'm at chuff. So the rest of Granger's army, a heavy bolt and an auto cannon that could see this Lehman Rust battle tank open fire and managed to do one wound off it. <laughs> right, it's going to be my turn now. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing because I nearly all wanted to try and shut this down without having to rock up a Lehman Rust battle tank to try and take it out. But I might have to uh, do it a different way now and then see what my uh, adherents can actually do. Right. So we're going to go into Gene Steeler's turn one. So this is what I've got this turn. Grange can't see it due to clandestine goals. So, yeah. Right, the Gene Steelers are in. Some units have swung round. This unit here has ran forward. I've managed to cast Psychic Stimulus on them, so they're going to be able to charge now in my charge phase. This guy's turned up here and mass hypnosis the uh, 
the uh, yeah Hellhound. So that Hellhound's going to be in a little bit, I think, of a state uh, by the time it comes to the end of this one. Um, over here, I used Lurk in the Shadows, allowing me to set up within three inches. I can't charge, but I can shoot. So hopefully I'm going to be able to take that crew out. And then these guys set up with uh, Perfect Ambush. So they're within nine, then they're all the five. So they've hurtled forward to try and grind and maybe kill some of these Chimeras. Um, and he failed to cast any psychic powers this turn. It does mean I am now down to two command points. <laughs> so I've pretty much used everything I can use. So I am down to two, um, which is quite amusing. But, ah oh well, we'll get to see what happens. It means I'm not really gonna be re-rolling much, I think, this turn. So we're going to go straight into my shooting. I'm going to start with that unit over there against the uh, crew. Two flamers to start with then. That's nine hits. Six, nine. And the flamers need freeze to wound against the crew. That's seven wounds against three men, needing fives to save. All the rest of the weapons will fire into the crew as well. They've gone. So, no more weapons, but that doesn't mean because there's no crew, that, that goes. So that's a destroyed unit. That is my victory point for this turn. Grange, which we didn't discuss. Oh, need to make you aware, that's not a plasma cannon. I actually built the army wrong, so we've changed it over for another cannon. <laughs> because Gene Steeler Cult can't have the execution of plasma gun in their army. My fault. Um, I'll probably put some blurb up before this, but hey-ho. Right. Let's get more shooting done. I'm now choosing to go with the, this unit here. So the Eradicator Nova Cannon is going to fire at Granger's Heavy Weapons team. It's got four shots. It's 50-50 because, of course, it's forced to hit because there's no negative modifiers for moving. The Heavy Flamers, by the way, are going into the Hellhound. Me and Granger have already discussed that. So I only got one hit. It's two to wound. It's wounded. Granger gets no save because the Eradicator ignores cover and it's a minus of two and then it's D3 damage. One. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with me to go on there. And then three heavy flamers are going to hit the front of this vehicle. And they've hit it 13 times. So I've opened fire with some of these guys. They've opened fire into this squad here and managed to kill one of the infantry. Now the two heavy mining lasers are going to have a go now at this. Didn't hit any, needing fives. So far, my shooting has been disastrous. Right, so there's about seven of those guys that can reach them, so I'm going to fire those pistols. So seven shots, needing fours, ooh, six hits, uh, needing fours, three wounds against that guard squad in cover. So Grange is going to need fours. And one goes, so I'm doing very well so far, very well. Right. <laughs> um... This tank's now going to open fire. So we've measured the two multi-melters are going to go for that Chimera. The last cannon and battle cannon are going to go for that Chimera. So 2d6 shots on the battle cannon. That's going to be 10. So that's all my dice. Needing fours. That is pathetic. I got one hit. <laughs> it's going to be one of them games again. Freeze to wound. It wounds. It's a minus of two. Get through. It gets through, D3 damage. That is definitely cooked. And it's a three. It's a three damage off for Chimera. And does my last cannon hit on a five? No. Two multi melters into the other one then. One of them did hit. Strength of eight, so it's going to need freeze. And it goes straight through because it's a minus of four. Yep. And it's D6 damage for two. So that one loses two damage. Right. Think onto Sentinels now. So I've checked line of sight, the last cannons and the multi-laser really can only see that Chimera at the end. So one of the last cannons didn't move, I'm going to fire that one first. It's cocked. <laughs> and that hit, and then second one needed a five. Ooh. So both last cannons have hit. We'll resolve that now. Freeze to wound. One wounded. <sighs> Dice rolls. And a six. No. no. D6 damage. Two again. Woohoo. And then the multi-laser, no hits. I'm doing very well. <laughs> very, very well. Right. 
Now this is where it comes to uh, charging time. So we'll get some charges done off camera and we'll bring you back into the action. Right, I'm gonna go with this unit first. This unit managed to get a charge off. That unit there managed to get a charge off with a re-roll. That unit piled into the Chimera, leaving a couple to the side to basically pile into that squad to try and negate some shooting or force some movement and orders being given, meaning he's not going to re-roll to hit. That unit probably going to hit, get hit by some Bulgrins, but I think with me being strength 5 and having rending claws, that might uh, put you off a little bit, to be honest. No. No? <laughs> Alright, then. You've got to think I've put in the start in this front. Right, so this one first, because of power picks, what is, that's the sergeant one. The power picks themselves can actually attack with their rending claws as well. So I'm going to do that first. So two hits and threes. They are strength six because of my twisted helix. So we need twos to wound. And then that's two wounds, rending claws, and minus one. So Grange need two sixes now only. Now yeah. only. So he loses two so far. And then the other five attacks on the power picks. Needing threes to hit. The power pick is my standard strength from minus two, so this will clean straight through. So needing threes. Miss one. I'm gonna need twos for user strength. So he kills another they kill another four out of that unit. And then the power hammer, or the heavy power hammer as it's called, uh, which is gonna be strength twelve against this chimera. So it is minus one to hit, so I need fours, not chimera, hellhound. And I didn't get any hits. Damn, because that does a straight three damage with a minus of three. That would have been nice. Are you... Caesar, are you interrupting? No. No? No problem? Right, we'll go with this lad then. So we're the Patriarch now. Needing twos. Oh, Christ. <laughs> His strength is six. He doesn't get the Twisted Helix. So I will need fives, but I get to re-roll. So I've got one. So I've got two. So two with a minus of three. So sixes. Add up. So it's a D3 damage apiece. So another six wounds off that vehicle. That vehicle is down to four. And then I'll do a Lehman Russ. <laughs> it doesn't hit. No. <laughs> So I managed to tear that one a little bit. If I would have hit with those hammers, I think those hammers would have been able to really, really hurt it. I'm just going to go across the board. So we're going to go down now to these gene stealers. Right, okay. So coming into it, they've lost four so far. That unit was wiped out completely and I consolidated into this unit up here. This unit has been contacted by them due to a, a, an advance, but I have not, I can't attack them. But well, then everybody else is going to be able to attack that tank. So I'm going to go with the heavy rock cutter first. Yep, sorry, heavy rock saw. Uh, put that there and that there. So he's going to need threes. They've both hit. I'm going to change some dice. <laughs> <laughs> strength is, because I'm plusing one strength. So I'm going to leave it open to the internet. I've seen a lot of people say plus one strength when you times it by two. But it used to be you times it by two when you plus one strength. Either or, I'm still going to need threes because it's either strength nine or it's strength ten. Yeah. So either or, I'm going to need threes, but I would like to know. Uh, yep. Yeah. So two wounds. It's a minus of four. Go straight through. And it's two damage apiece on the heavy rock saw. Right. So that takes me down to five. It takes him down to five. So the heavy rock cutter is next. No. In fact, I'll go with the heavy rock drill next. Um, is this a minus one to hit? No, it isn't. Right, so the heavy rock drill. Pick some crappy dice up. So two hits. Again, it's going to be strength of nine. One wound. It's a minus of three. And this is a bit of a weird one, this. So on the six of us? No. no. Right, so it causes one mortal wound. And it's not destroyed, so I roll a d6, on a 2+, plus it causes another, and then I roll a d6 again, on a 3+, plus it causes another, and another until it's, until I fail. So, so one mortal wound, two mortal wounds, three mortal wounds, three mortal wounds. So it suffers three wounds. Or is it in addition? No, it's in addition, so it suffers four wounds in total. 
So it's down to one. I've still got plenty of rending claws to go, but I've also got my heavy rock cutter. Now this one does subtract one to hit. So I'm gonna need fours. One hit. Heavy rock cutter again is massive strength. So it's strength nine. It's, a, it's through and it's a minus of four now. It used to be minus three. What I need to do is to roll D6 higher than the um, remaining wounds and it's just dead. Yeah. So if it was more than one, then that's fine. But uh, either or, to be honest, even if we rolled a one, it's gone. So do you explode, sir? Please don't explode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. Uh, how many guys are inside? Four of them. Four Ogrins. Get a few ones. Come on, Ogrins. Come on. No, no ones. ones. Oh, God damn it. So they pile out. And then he removes the model and then I have to do my three inch consolidation. So, after the morale, we're down to one flamer guy. That's down to four wounds. And then of course we've got a couple of units locked up in combat. He's gonna have to use orders to try and make them escape. Um, some of his vehicles have been hit and hurt. And then there's this unit down here, which if they rampage unchecked, they're gonna be an absolute pain for you, to be honest. Right, I've got spread panic and fear. Because I got to, he failed one morale test with this unit here, and I got one point for blood and guts. So I managed to score three victory points this turn. How many victory points did you oh, score? You got Alpha Strike as well, didn't you? Yeah, that's why I scored three. All oh, oh, right, so so that's three, three. Then, so three and three. So yep. basically, at the moment, we have zero points apiece. So we're now going to go into Imperial Guard turn two. So this is Granger's one for this turn. Witch Hunter, so either one of the Patriarchs or Magos. Blood and Guts, so he has to destroy something in the fight phase. Not quite sure why he didn't discard that when he could do earlier on, but <laughs> there we go. Um, and Kingslayer, so if I manage to score, if I manage to kill with Warlord, it's called Warlord Point plus Kingslayer plus Witch Hunter. So that would be quite a lot of points. So my bloke over there is now worth quite a lot, but there's a lot of stuff to go through before you can get to him. Yeah. Right then, sir, go ahead. So Granger's units have fallen back from here, the Chimeras, this, not Chimera, sorry, the um, thing is stayed locked in combat, possibly to try and hopefully survive another round here and then maybe not have me run forward over him. Um, these guys have moved up to try and get some shots, these guys have moved up to get some shots, so if he re-rolls ones, ladies and gentlemen, we aren't using an order, let me know. <laughs> these guys have fallen back. Uh, the mortars have stayed still, of course. Those guys have fallen back, and the Chimera over there has fallen back. So I have limited a lot of his firepower coming in at me. Hopefully, don't get me wrong, these guys have piled out of that Chimera. Uh, so Commissar Yarak and his lads have uh, stormed out. But I'm going to see whether or not these guys can survive. They are within six of that banner, and they are actually fearless because they're still within six of my Patriarch. Right then, sir. What are you firing first? Right, we'll start off with the orders then. Yep. First order, onto the missile team. Yep. Take aim, frag rockets. Into the walls. Into the uh, yep. gene stealers. Grange rolled for a number of shots, he got five. Good start. Very good start, needs fours and re-rolls though. This is, uh, this is what does my nut. <laughs> Four hits. Four hits. One See, one. the problem is with gene stealers, the gene stealers are not very Great with their saves. That's two ones, Pop. And that's two gone At already. At that point, I'm going to put over overlapping fields, fields of fire. Oh, I knew we were going to play some naughtiness. So, overlapping fields of fire on this one. It's two command points, which takes you down to how many? Nine. So, we've got nine left, and I've got one. So, the second order on these is going to be what? Bring it down. Bring it down. So, re rolling ones yep. to ones. So, he's going to need threes to hit re rolling ones. He's not choosing to do the re rolls because if he does, and he frees that hit, he has to re-roll them, because he has to re-roll before pluses or minuses. So we got that one. Yeah. So that is five hits. Five hits, needing freeze. Rerolling rolling ones, cut of the order. Yep. It's a bit bad actually for me, I didn't really, I forgot about that. So, so three. And I lose another two guys, and these precariously positioned ones will probably come off. So, so next door, next captain. He's going to be using their Vox. Yep. 
to then vox over to these guys yep. to get back into the fight. No problem. And then they're going to be shooting into the, whatever their name is. They're, they're hybrids. Hybrids. I just like to call them, but apparently they're all hybrids now, but they're, they're hybrid. They're normal acolyte hybrids, I believe. All right, so flame to start with. Yeah. Two hits. Two hits. That's not funny. <laughs> needing freeze. One. Needing a five to save. Needing a six to ignore. No. So I do lose one of those guys. And then I'm going to use another command point for yep. grenades and then throw a set of grenades into the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so Evil. Be... Evil! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grenades. Eight dice. I'm going to record this one this time because his last one was actually quite spectacular but didn't really get a lot. Ah. Not too bad. 12. Twenty-eight. Oh, Twenty-eight dice. He's got twenty-five in his hand, so he'll just re-roll. Yep. So he'll just re-roll uh, three misses. He does need fours, and he can't re-roll any ones because he's moved. I need to negate his abilities. This is going to be a lot more of this. And then pushing for the days of flak armor. <laughs> in fours. <laughs> One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven wounds, fella. Seven wounds. <laughs> so, needing fives. And then these need sixes to ignore. None. So I lose another four of these guys. Yep, go ahead. Uh, then take, uh, it's going to be take him, not take him, so bring it down onto the yep. knees and they're going to be hitting the gene stealers. Yep, so it's 3d6 shots. Uh, that's uh, that many. Nine. Nine. So nine shots. He needs freeze re rolling ones. Ooh, that's really good actually. That. So only two misses. That's going to be seven hits. He's going to need fours. And again, he can re roll the ones because he's in order. One, one. So and that's going to be one, four. Two, three, four ones. Four saves, five needed. Save two, so I've lost two. Right, down to normal shooting, he's done his orders. So this unit here is going to open fire on them. And they are within rapid fire range, but they have moved, so he can't re-roll his ones. So I will not be overcharging So I'm not going to be overcharging the plasma. That's a shame, you normally always overcharge no, the plasma. No, normally, normally I've stood still. <laughs> so uh, two plasma Freeze. shots. One hit. You would have killed yourself, so that's fine. Freeze to wound. Wounded. So that's one wound so far, and then we'll add the las guns because it's a five up invulnerable save on Gene Steelers. Two, four. So including the plasma gun hit, it's a further seven wounds on the Gene Steelers. Needing fives to save. Oh, I've lost six. Right, then he decided to fire with his wyvern, and the Gene Steelers are no more. So that's 15 Gene Steelers gone down. He's got these lads now are going to open fire against that unit that managed to get down into the backfield. So 17 laser gun shots. I will that kinker there. Yeah, yeah. And he did move. So he needs fours. That was terrible. <laughs> One. One wound. <laughs> I didn't save, so I do lose a cultist from down in that zone over there. So these so, guys are going to fire into death yep. now. Seven last guns and a plasma. Plasma first, not overcharging. We've hit. It does hit. And it does so, kill one. Can't stop that plasma. And then seven last guns. Yep. That's a bit better than your counterparts did in rapid fire range. And then we'll do fours. Three. Another three. I lose another four out of that squad. Right, so Grange has decided this infantry unit here, with its full squad, is now going to open fire into these guys. Um, he has caused five casualties on them, so it could be, they do have a leadership of eight, but morale could be a thing for those guys, and I don't have any command points left to auto pass. Right, so we'll start with the Lasguns to start with. Yep. It's two, four, six, eight. 10, 12 shots. 12 shots. He uh, did stand still, so he gets to re-roll his ones. It's 
generates another hit. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, I'm glad the block points value of these down because they used to just take casualties like an idiot. Uh, so is that what four? So that's four more pop. Four more. Yeah, well, four. Four initially. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, more. <laughs> so that's two saves. So that's two so far needing sixes. So just if you do the rest, I'll do yeah. all the sixes together. So plasma. Yep. Two hits. Two hits. And two, two wounds. wounds. So that's going to be another two needing sixes. Because I'm guessing you didn't overcharge. No, oh, yeah. no. Auto cannon. Auto cannon, one hit. And one wound. Uh, auto cannon's a minus one, so I need a six. No. So that's going to be five wounds. Needing sixes to ignore. Oh, that was. So I ignore one. So I lose another four men. So I've taken a good chunk out the middle, which does mean if these guys do survive this and do have to move, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you got anything left to fire apart from that Manticore, sir? That Manticore and these Grenade the Gauntlets. Them Grenade Gauntlets. And is that Chimera shot? Oh, and that Chimera's shot. Yeah, that's shoot, yeah. Chimera's I'll shoot. Do the Anticore first. Yep. The Heavy Bolt is going to fire back into these. Yep, no problem. And the Manticore missiles are going to go for that Lee Munros. No problem. So the Heavy Bolt has opened up, managed to kill another three, because he got three hits. Because of his dirty, dirty Cadian rules. And then 2d6 shots. 11 shots at me Lehman Ross. Sorry, Fran. Forced to hit, re-rolling ones. Sorry, I'm Fran. a dirty K Canadian. <laughs> that's that's the Canada subscriptions just disappeared. He is wearing the, uh, the Deadpool top. So, you know, where it is, Canadian. All right, you ready? Yeah, after you've kicked stuff under your table. Yeah, toes are fine. You roll about that near it. Yeah, just knock my guy backwards, that one. Oh, I'm moving out of charge range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're all the ones. Well, I'll be honest, I've not hit you. <laughs> hey, you hit five times. Right. So and that's not ten. too bad. Need to freeze. Wow. There we go. There we go. Feeling better? Nope. It's a minus of two, so I need fives, and it's D3 damage, so I'm not feeling better at all. So I saved one, so it's two D3 damage. And it's a four, so that will drop back down to seven wounds left. And then grenade gauntlets yeah. into that unit. All right. Four. That's eleven shots. Eleven. Pal. Needing fives then sixes. One. <laughs> I am, to be honest, the reason I'm doing that is because I don't like Canadian Canadian's rules, so uh, I'm going to be cheating. So <laughs> you've still got the Chimera left to fire. Yeah, Chimera's going to fire. Las guns back into these yep. guys and Bolter and Multi Laser are gonna go up into this unit here. Okay, your Las guns, can they actually reach them? They should be able to, but we'll check. Yeah, they're not them. gonna fire backwards because we just checked and Grange cannot actually shoot them. No, so Las guns are gonna fire forward into that center. No problem. Sentinel? Yeah, Sentinel, Sentinel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that will be six Las gun shots to start with. Yep. He didn't move. So it's fours re rolling his ones. And then he needs sixes to wound because it's tough as six. No wounds. None. And, and then, then his multi laser did declare against these. Yep. Two hits. Two, Two wounds. wounds. I mean, cover. Fours. Two saves. And every bolter. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Um, That's interesting. I think that look up, that does it, Fran. Hmm? I think I'm going to have to declare some charges. Yes, I think you are. So we're going to go into Grage's charge phase and we'll come back into it uh, when we're fighting. So the Ogrins have gone into the remains of that unit. They've gone into the remains of that unit, which is spread out. 
Uh, the Ogrins have got Avalanche and Muscle plus the War Hymns. So they've got five, like, six attacks apiece or something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be going first. I'm guessing that's a Grenade Gauntlet you've got in your hand there. Grenade Gauntlet's in my hand at the minute. Yep. Oh. It's on freeze rerolls ones because we've been six inch of Commissar Yannick. So we roll these ones, which are many. Yeah, but you convert the majority of them into hits. Yeah. Strength? Uh, five. So you're going to need freeze. No modifiers on there, fella. How many? Seven. You need fives. No, I thought well, well, a lot more, and then fours, look. and then sixes. Oh! So I oh. lost two. Oh, hello. So I'm going to have, because I think they're going to just die, die, I'm going to have that one go, and I'm going to have him go. Now, he's got a lash whip and bone sword, which means he gets to fight before he gets completely taken off. So you've got your mace, I believe, as well, for that unit uh, to go with? Yep. I may have just taken them out of the combat as well. Re roll any ones. Re roll that one as well. Yeah. There you go. Re roll your ones. Yep. So just hit with them all. This is now seven, so twos. Yeah. Is there a minus on this? There is a minus of one. So it's a minus of one, two damage. I didn't get any. And like one. He's dead. Two. He's dead. Right. So all of that unit has been completely wiped out. I think every time I play this game, this happens. Um, right. Before you do a consolidation, then I'm just going to fight back with him. Right. Okay. Um, I've managed to make that go boom, but while it went boom, it did go boom. <laughs> so of course it caused three mortal wounds to him. Caused two mortal wounds to that. Two mortal wounds to him, and then a mortal wound to them. So and Grange. Even boys kicking my ass, had to, you know, re-roll it just to make sure that it did explode. And look, look at his smug, childlike face. <laughs> <laughs> um, that unit didn't consolidate up after he murdered everybody with them. And I've got a morale test to take, actually, I've just realised. When you want a one, you never get a one. See? I've got a six. So they definitely get removed from the tabletop. So, in Granger's turn... He's managed to annihilate my full squad of Gene Stealers. He's managed to annihilate the full hybrid unit and one full um, near fight unit. So he's basically wiped out loads of my army uh, within very, 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 very quick rounds. Even me trying to consolidate up to try and stop some shooting coming in didn't help. If I'm completely honest, it didn't help at all. Um, have you got any objectives there? Only the one, sir. I've got blood and cuts. One victory point if a unit was completely destroy, uh, destroyed during the fight phase. Yep, which you did do in the lads there. So Grange will be on one point up. Yep. Right. We're going to go into my turn then. So it's going to be my turn too. Not going to be much left, I'll be completely honest with you, if I don't actually get a really good... Because if I don't get my units in and charged, I'm dead. So these are my objectives for this turn. It's not looking good, guys. So these units have moved up. I've cast Might From Beyond on these because these have come in from reserve nine inches away. Again, I'm not, not fond of the fact that I can't. I think they need to be cheaper, if I'm being completely honest. It is a game where we're testing stuff out, even though Grange won't let me test anything because he wants to blow it all up first. <laughs> <laughs> Um, die from. I'm mental onslaught. Now, mental onslaught, I targeted his sergeant of the Bulgrins, and basically the rules are, I target a model, if I win a leadership roll off, which my leadership was 10, his was 8, he takes a mortal wound. But, if that model is still alive, we keep going. So unless Grange put it onto his sergeant to kill his sergeant, it was going to keep going and going and going until he removed his sergeant model. That actually can be quite... Nasty because it focuses, it basically means that if I targeted, for example, these and I targeted a um, heavy weapon team and you didn't take it off, 
I could go through the whole squad before I ended up taking off the heavy weapon team. Use it yeah. on a knight. Yeah, use it on a knight. <laughs> but I think knights are leadership leadership nine. No idea. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna start taking knights against you all the time, Green. So <laughs> Right. Um I am gonna start with this Lehman Russ here. So the heavy flamers are gonna go into this infantry unit. The cannon is gonna go into that auto cannon unit. So every flame is first. That's a total five, six, seven, eight hits. Needing freeze. One, two, three, four, six. And Grange needs a minus one, so he's going to need sixes to save. Here we go then. Save two. Oh, it loses four. Yep. And D6 shots into that other unit. Only one in the four to hit, and it missed. Again, some fantastic shooting. Right, moving on. So these, this unit here has opened up and it's managed to wipe out, knocking them down to two, so I killed another seven. Right, this Lehman Russ now, the twin melt on the last cannon is gonna hit the Chimera that's got the Ogwins in it. So that's the one that's, uh, yep. And the battle cannon is gonna go into the auto cannon team. Oh, Because I want to try and kill them. So, last cannon first, and you five because I moved. Missed. Two multi melters. I missed with both of them as well. 2d6 shots. Eight shots. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the one. One, two, three, four, one? five, six. No, I'm not. No. I'm on seven. Seven. Right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fours to hit. Oh, flipping egg. Three of them. I suppose 50 50. Yes, to Two's to wound. And it's a minus of two. Grange is in cover. So four dice. No, no. sixes. It's D3 damage. Well, one of them's already on one. So the first one will kill one. Mm -hmm. The second one does two, which kills another. And then the third one, which is another two, will actually wipe them all out. So that's pretty good. That's that's gone. That's gone. Right, so wipe those guys out. I haven't really got much. Help. Well, he's going to chuck breaching charge into them. Two shots. Double one. Doing real well. Right, multi laser and twin last cannon from all them three is going into that. No, it's going to go into the Chimera with a heavy flamer. Okay. So multi laser first. Need fives. One hit. Need five. Wounded. Normal armor save, sir. Save. Yep, and then two last cannons. Both missed. Can't catch a break. Right. We're going to have to go into some uh, assaulty salty. So let's get some assault done. And then we'll come into it into your turn. So charging wise, the Lehman Russ has gone into there. The Adderant has gone round, he did lose one of his, he did lose his buddy to that bloody thing, but he's gone round to try and take out his Warlord and then the Patriarch, because of course he's got that special ability rammed into both of these two units here hmm? He's not the Warlord, he's the Warlord Oh he's the Warlord Sorry. is he? Yeah I thought you said he was the Warlord No he's the Warlord Alright, oh, hey, well, I'm going against Long Bolt then <laughs> I want to try and kill your Warlord, that's not fair Alright, he's, that's he's swapped thought, it. That's what, that's he's swapped thought. his warlord round. That's what it is. Pointed at the beginning of the battle <laughs> if you were paying attention. That's what I thought your uh, patriot were doing. We're trying to chew through all that info. Well, to probably, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and then the patriarch has managed to get in, uh, suffered no wounds from a grenade gun that's up here. And the gene stealers actually did a nine inch charge to get into these. Now, I have consolidated with the gene stealers already because they're going to go first. And uh, I need to remember that's on seven. Have you got any? Right, these guys have gone. Uh, the Gene Stealers waded in, killed every single one of those. They killed every single one of those. They consolidated round into the Bulgrins. Grange interrupted with two command points, fought back with the Bulgrins before the Bulgrins got attacked by the Patriarch. And then with the Bulgrins, he's managed to kill four of the Gene Stealers. So, the Patriarch is now fighting. He needs twos to hit. Three hits. How many times? Five. Mm -hmm. um, what's your toughness? Five. So I need three rolls. Keep that six to one side. Right, them two sixes 
which will be hitting first a minus six and a straight three damage. Hadunk and Hadunk. Which is why I wanted to try and kill the other one. And then he's got three saves of a minus of three. And these cause D3 wounds. Uh, two of them got through. And it's three wounds. So thankfully the Patriarch has managed to annihilate all those Bulgrins. <laughs> Patriarch's going to stay there. No, sorry. Patriarch, mate. So I'll let it forward a little. And then, right, so I'm going to go with the Patriarch now. I've completely forgot what I did the hypermetabolism on there. So he's recovered two wounds. He's back up to five. The two black will be for the attacks against this infantry. The rest of them are for attacks against these guys here. About right. <laughs> <laughs> Three fails. I need twos with re-rolls. So... One of them is dead, regardless, it's minus three. Yeah. And then the first one, which is minus three, will kill that. Yeah. And the second one does three points of damage. So that will kill that. So the Patriarch has managed to annihilate two of those. And then I'll go into the Lehman Russ, who doesn't hit anything. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And then the Adherent against that Commissar. So the black dice in my hand are going to be for his rending claws. The rest of them will be for, because it's the adamant sergeant. So he's hit with them all. His strength will be six, because it's plus one strength for me being Twisted Helix. And he's wounded with all of them. Right, he's going to need his five up in one. Against the rending claw first. Yeah, yep, that stops it. Against the power pick. Now the power pick is uh, D3 damage, and two, two get, get through. through. Are you wanting to command point? Um, yeah, why not at this point? Okay. How many damage does it do? D3. D3. Right, I'll command point one of those. I'll Hold on again. Do you want to like move me back? Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> two points of damage. God damn it. Every time I think I've got a break, it just goes, mm, no. No. <laughs> no, 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 you not no, you not right, so he can't consolidate into them, but uh, smash those. No, that's not right. Two points of damage. And I'll be honest with you, I think that's going to be the end of my assault phase. So, it's whether or not this unit here can actually withstand all of this army's fusilizer fire which is what's going to happen including those chimeras hitting them with heavy flamers and everything else and more bulbins getting out it i'm i'm chewing through units i'm just not i chew through them and it's like the units worth 50 points and i'm having to use a 250 point unit to chew through a 50 point unit and then more 50 point units come out with re-rolls to hit yeah anyway they lost one do they have to have a Brunel test? No. Uh, no, but they will. But, no, well, I think they're within six, aren't they, of that Commissar so Lord. So you if they do fail it. No, it's Leadership 9. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. So five, six, seven, yeah. you won't fail. And then these are seven. But, uh, yeah, so they could. So seven, eight, nine, ten. So they would lose one. He's trying to make sure he's not within two inches so he can actually still fight. And the Commissar needs to fight back. Oh, of course, yes. Right, yep. So three attacks for back on here. Two hits. Two hits. Nothing. Nothing at all. So I'm two plus five. No cool. four. So that Commissar doesn't do anything and he's lost. He's only got two, two wounds left. Yeah. So he's not a Commissar Lord then, is he? Is he is. Sent? Oh, is he a Lord? No, Commissar Lord. I thought we had five wounds. Uh, not four. Oh, right, okay. Uh, right. It's uh, me to get slaughtered again, I think. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> did I claim any objectives? Now, this is a problem. I didn't. Didn't claim any of those. So I'm going to discard one of them. I don't have to show him which one I discard. It's just discarded. And, uh, which to you guys, that's the one I'm discarding. And it's then going to be Granger's turn three. Yeah, yeah turn, three. turn three. All right, so Granger's objectives is still Witch Hunter, still Kingslayer, and now behind enemy lines. 
Not getting them. Uh, oh, <laughs> could do eventually, maybe. One day. Right, uh, so, go on then, sir. Right, I'll begin my move. Okay, so, this Chimera has pulled forward, the other Chimera has stayed still over there, but it's let its Ogrins out with its, uh, it, I believe in that one, is still another priest, there so, is, yes. and there's still two priests running up and down, uh, there's still that Ogrin sort of uh, commander, whatever he is there as well, and then this lot of course has stayed pretty much still, apart from that unit there running round, a very moved round as well, yeah, yeah, everything else has stood still, these have fallen back out of combat, and the Commissar stayed in combat with the guy. Uh, right. First one. First one then, sir. Order from this chap yep. onto these. Get back in the fight. And, and they're going to try third. Into yeah. him. Right, right, so he's using the grenade again. So he's going to get D6 shots per person. So, uh... Hello. It's all right, that, to yep. be honest. Uh, 12... 13, 14, 18, 22, 23, 24, 29 shots. That might hurt. Right, he's played, get it back into the fight and then take aim on that. That's fired a rocket into that and thankfully, missed. So every time I don't record him, he misses. Yeah. So that might be something to do. And then these used their grenades and everything and did nothing to my uh, Gene Stiller Patriarch. Yes. So that, that might be another dead unit coming up. Right. So, sir. Next order. Yep. From this one. Yep. Onto them. Yep. Take aim. Yep. They're going to open fire on them. Yep. Right, so this is how we actually rolled how many shots he was going to get. Yep. And this is how many hits he's going to get. And taking aim. Means he can't re roll. To pay attention, Games Workshop. It's a little bit overpowered. Yeah, you say that, but you know, it completely it's lacks any movement. <laughs> no, it's but you know, the game's now about getting to yeah. objectives, and you can't. Well, without, well, I mean, without well. losing your ability. Go on then, sir. Two. Fives. I've saved them both, fine. thankfully. Right. It's a good job they're still crap at wounding. <laughs> <laughs> Onto these guys. Yep. And they're going to do first rank fire, second rank fire. And we're going to put everything okay. down into the gene stealers. He's fired this unit on orders. Managed to kill five and then again done his usual two command points, overlapping fields of fire, and then suddenly he's going with the wyvern. Shouldn't be like it. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Right, how many shots? Not many, twelve. Twelve. Not many. Right then, sir, needing threes to hit, re-rolling your ones because of that rubbish rule. Go on. Yay! And then... That was still plenty of fours, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Force to one re-rolling. Yeah, some more cheaty death stuff. I can sense you getting a bit of a downer. Yeah, I'm not down. I'm just I'm starting to think that certain rules are a little bit, uh, a little bit not mentioned. Seven. Seven of them. And only six left. Right, so that's one, two, three, four saves. So I lose another two. This is it's points. I'm just I don't even think your wyvern comes to more than a hundred points, does it? I think it's just a just a ton. Yeah. Just now a ton. Yeah. And it's that's like this that's this unit's double its points cost. Yeah. And it's not even doing half as much as what they're doing. It's just a CMN. Although it does use battle scribe, ladies and gentlemen, which I always say that it doesn't calculate points correctly. So, You're right, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I, I, no, seriously, Battle well, Scribe went absolutely skewy on me early today, yeah, yeah. and I had three infantry squads, and it would have cost me over a thousand points. Right, no, so, well, that's correct. What are you yeah. talking about? That's <laughs> correct. Right then, sir. Right, what's this next? Unit, this unit up here. Yep. I'm going to put everything they can down into Yeah, them. yeah. All right, okay, so he's firing with this squad here. They've opened fire with their heavy bolts at here because he can't see anything. Killed one of my guys. The rest of them are now open firing here. He's going to do his plasma and he's overcharging. Because he can re-roll his ones. Both wound. Two wounds. Two. And the first one dies, and the second one dies. So I'm down to two men left. Uh, last guns. Yep. Re-rolling his ones, because he cheats. 
Oh dear. Uh, overlapping means that three is actually Ooh, does a hit. It? Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've got one, two, three more wounds on you. Yay! Uh, yeah, impossible odds to the ice <laughs> rolls to be able to do it. Right, we'll move on to these. See, even more. Plasma is going to go into yep. the Patriarch, and Las Guns are going to, what can see, are going to go into yep. those. Okay. So, probably one, two. All right, so these are against the Gene Steelers first. Las Guns. They did move, so there's a misses. Three, nothing Yay! happens. And then plasma into your patriarch. Yeah. I'm not overcharging. Oh, okay. Two hits. Maybe you should have done. One wound. One wound. Failed to save and failed the thing, so he's down to five. And then last guns into the patriarch. Yep. Uh, You're not plusing ones on this no, guy. No. Nothing. Nothing. And going to repeat all oh, last guns into the Patriarch. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just see what's in range. Right, so he's now going to fire his grenade to go on. Let's into the remaining two gene stealers. That's going to be seven, seven shots. shots. Seven shots. He uh, needs fours Four. normal. Look what he's got. One. He's got overlap. Oh, ah, seven. are you Cadian? Uh, no, I won't. No, you're it. not. So yeah. you don't get the extra benefits. Wounded. Four, yep, yeah, one wound. And then ignore on a six. Sorry, that's cocked. No. So I'm losing another one of those. But yes, I've just realised they're not Cadian, so I don't get the benefit. So overlapping fields of fire, it's only Cadian units that do. And then Storm Bolter yep. from Yarrick into, yeah, yep. into the last one. Should be four, four 12 inches, yeah. I think that's all hit with Yarrick, I'm not sure of her. Granger's managed to roll three wounds against the last Gene Stealer. I need a double six. <laughs> right, shotgun. Yep. Yeah. So it's two, two shots at this range? Two shots at that range. If you're within six, it's plus one strength, but you're not I within don't think six. I'll be within six. So then. one hit. One hit. Shotgun's always two shots, no. then it's a fail to wound. Uh, the pistol in the combat. Oh, yeah. Plasma pistol. Won't be overcharging. Okay. Hits. Needs a three. Doesn't wound. Oh. And then two heavy flamers. Yep. Into yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Two hits. He's got no command points left. No, this is most of the heavy flamers. Yeah, yeah. So two so, hits. Yeah. So I'm saying so you've got no oh, command yeah, points yeah, left. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So it's and no wounds. No wounds. That's disappointing. Yeah. He's done all right. Yeah. Have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, right. Manticore. Manticore will put everything into that one. Into that. Okay then. So it's third rocket. Five shots this time. <sighs> yeah. Three, Three. hits. Oh, for fuck's sake. Three, four, five, six. six. So it reduces that down to four. So. That's been reduced down to four wounds due to the Manticore. He's only got one rocket left on that. Uh, they've buggered out of combat. Still got a combat going on here. This lot has opened fire and basically decimated one of my last surviving units. And these lot over here are now... Well, I don't know what they're trying to do. Right then, sir. So, it's going to be your turn for combat. Which I've got a funny feeling some more Ogrins are coming in. Right, okay. So, we're gonna, he's going to go with this guy first. So, he's going to go with his normal lads first, they need threes, re-rolling ones for Yarrick. So I'll take these ones and have another go. Oh dear. <laughs> That's when you wish to roll twos, and then he converted them all to hits. So they have hit. 
Strength is five. Toughness. We're going to need um, toughness five. So it needs fours. We all that one. Yeah. That. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds, fella. Wow. Out of how many hits? Um, it was about fifty. That's a lot seven. more than fifty percent, isn't it? Yeah. I meant how many hits got through and yeah. wounded. So I'm looking for fours. <laughs> I failed. Uberlords and them. He's alive with one wound. Right. And then there's a mole coming in. Failed to hit Grange. Failed to hit. We're all oh, one. Yeah, all right. Six attacks. And he's hit with all of them. What's your strength? Strength, strength, seven with the mole. Okay. And he's freeze. Five, it's a minus one, but it'll be up in invulnerable, right? Yeah. Well, it's either my armour, which is a five, or my invulnerable, which is a five, it's the same. And how many wounds? Uh, it's two apiece, fella. Oh, Christ. He's dead. This flank's completely collapsed. D3. Sorry, three inch consolidation, which will be towards the tank. I'm not going to bother at this point. Okay. That's fine. Otherwise, I'll be in there. I don't want to be. Uh, Bulgrin. Yep. Not within six inch, so he's just going to. Actually, I don't know what I've been body gets. Yep. So five attacks against the tank. Gets two hits. Two hits. And they can't re roll any. No. Uh, strength seven. Toughness eight. Nothing. No yeah, Commissar Yarrick. Yep. So Yarrick again. Three attacks. Yep. Hits on twos, but it's uh, minus one with the power fist. Yep. So two hits. Two hits. Uh, yeah, two hits. One. One wound. Minus. Uh, minus three. I got a six. Save the way. Uh, sergeant. Ah, yep, yeah. Sergeant into the element. Three attacks. Not one Not hit. <laughs> and then you get to pick a combat, so you can pick your guy. So this will be the. Three attacks. Three attacks with a commissar. Yep. Yeah. Hits once. He's a five. No. No, oh, so the element's going to fight wounds. back, and he's going to go all against the commissar. In fact, the Rending Claw will go against the guy. So Rending Claw missed completely. Two hits on the Commissar. Needs twos due to his strength being six. I got one wound against the Commissar. Minus of two, D3 damage, so you need your invulnerable. How many is this one? Just one. Just the one. Saved. And he's saved. So they're locked in some form of internal... Infernal combat. <laughs> Infernal combat, right. So, we're going to now go into my turn, uh, and it's going to be my turn three. There's not a lot left. Right, so the Patriarch shifted forward. He's used a smite and obliterated that Commissar. This guy run forward to smite him to try and free that up. Failed. The tank using its track guards has rolled up, and I think we're going to have some heavy flame of death. I've kept that one locked in combat with Yarrick, no point taking it back. And then these guys here, uh, they've rolled forward, ready to take these guys on. Uh, just, I do have to do one more thing. Apologies, they came in from reserve as well down there. And then, yeah, so I've already shown you the rest of the battlescape. Um, right. <laughs> here we go. Um, I've done my psychic craze already. And we're just going to get some shooting done. So this... He's going to rock and roll three heavy flamers into those guys, and then its main weapon is going to fire into that wyvern. So heavy flamers to start with. That is 13 automatic hits. So 13 hits, needing threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it's plus one, minus one, because he is touching the terrain. It's supposed to be in cover. And he's going to minus one for a heavy flamer. Yeah. 
two, that's the hole. That's yep. unit gone. That's the unit down. D6 attacks against the Wyvern. Six. I do need fives though. That's two hits. The Wyvern's toughness is six. Yes. So I need fours. I got one. I have no idea what the minus is. Just roll the dice. A two. That's definitely a fail. D3 damage. One. Mm. <laughs> So I'm going to fire the Patriot now into the Ogrins. He needs a three to hit, I think. Oh, it's definitely a miss because it was a one. I was firing the needle pistol. Right, these guys are going to fire into the Ogrins now. Right. So, of course, they open fire. Lots and lots of shots. Killed one. <laughs> <laughs> that last cannon, those two last cannons have opened fire. The sat down now to five wounds. The multi-laser opened fire and killed another Ogrin. These guys, their mining lasers actually reduced them down, so they lost two Ogrins out of that unit because of the last cannons and mining lasers. Right, so we're going to go into, it's a short and sweet my shooting, so we're going to go into the combat phase. Right, so I tried to charge into both of them two, he fired his last rocket with his Manticore and blew it up. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. Not from my side, there bloody wasn't. Because that wyvern's still alive. Right, now the, he has barreled into these. So, I'm going to put five attacks against his warlord, one attack against his base. He has actually in combat with them as well, because I did declare all three. But I'm not putting any attacks on them. God damn you, why can't you hit? Right, twos with rerolls. So, three hits on your captain, needing, uh, with a minus of three, so it's your invulnerables. None of no. them. No. D3 damage each. True. One, two, three, four. I believe that's a dead captain. That's a dead captain. And yeah. then against your heavy weapon team, three. So he kills the heavy weapon team, kills the captain. Boink. And then does that. Hey. That does that there, so he's a bit further away from certain units. There we go. And then, more charging units. This one here. And I have no idea what the Primus does. Right, so he's got four attacks. He needs twos to hit. And he needs twos to wound. Because it's a toxin injector. Ooh, and if he gets a six, it's a minus of four. So, I'll roll that one again. There you go. So one six of a minus of four, but I don't think it matters against you, because what's your save? Uh, it's an invulnerable four. Invulnerable four plus, and it's a minus one anyway, so if it would be an armour of three plus, mm -hmm. so that's going to be four wounds, needing fours. Two. Two get through. So he's wounded the thingy twice. Takes him down to four left. It does. Because he's an ogling bodyguard, it's quite hard. Mm. It's a shame that doesn't do any more. I thought it did D3 things, but his needle pistol does. We'll see you around that. And then we go on to, ah yes, forgot about those. Um, all three are just going to attack that, yep. Yeah. And I didn't hit Alt. <laughs> but they're mainly there because they've actually got into combat with both Chimeras just to try and shut them down. Which Grange will probably just sit there and not move. Yeah. Yep. Um, right, so... Been done. I've got that's been back. done. It's this, and that's what I'm trying to find. Yeah, this guy here. Yeah. So he's got his three attacks plus his uh, his claw, three hits, twos to kill. He just murders that sergeant, and then of course the consolidation would take him to there. So a bit, a bit. Better productive wise, I have chewed some stuff, but I've just not chewed any of the, this in the middle. Uh, and his Manticore is now effectively a pillbox with a heavy bolter. Because he's got no rockets left. Because he had, well, he did kill my tank, which is a pain in the ass. Well, that tank has, to be honest with you, caused Grange a lot of issues. So if you are going to use Lehman Russes in Cult, I recommend Track Guards and Free Heavy Flames. <laughs> <laughs> and just roll them up there. They, uh, that uh, that worked quite well, did that? I think I might do that with possibly like a different weapon, though. To be honest with you, not the Nova cannon. Nova cannon's a bit weak. Right, 
Um, oh, my attack back. Your attack, your attacks. Um, I don't think this is going to do anything, so I'm going to do it now. Yeah. Oh, he did get a hit against the Ogryn, and he didn't get a wound. So there we are. Right. So Ogryn's right. going to go back yep. into your ladder. Uh, we roll that one because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All hit. Strength seven, toughness three. I don't realise he's not got an invulnerable save, this guy. So three ones, pal. To minus yep. one. Minus one, I need sixes. So I got one. So it's two D. Is it straight two straight damage? Straight two damage. So he's got down to one wound left. Not bad. And then Yarrick's going to attack the tank back. Yeah, yeah. Hey! He's only strength six, do not he? Yes. So one wound. Oh, tank doesn't save. DV damage. One. That reduces that down to six. Right. Go on then, sir. It's your turn. We did forget to fight this, so we fought it. Now we're down to the proper end of claiming objectives. I've got Kingslayer. So that's basically D3 plus one because it causes his Warlord. And Laylord the Oppressor, so it was like D3 plus two. And I scored a three. So I jumped into the lead by three points. So I've actually gone up and I've discarded my other card, which was Defend Objective three, but you guys already know that. So I've now gone up by three points, and we are hitting. What's your turn, Grange? So you're going to turn four, pal. Grange's turn four, and I'll be honest, Fury's units are locked up, so he's mainly got his guard and his wyvern left. Right, what have you got then, sir? So still got behind the enemy lines. Yep, that's going to be fantastic. Assassinate. Kill a character. I have plenty to go for. And regimental um, pride. Score one for each point if an enemy character was slain as a result of attack made by one of your regiment characters during this turn. Hmm. Well, there's more chance of platin for that. <laughs> Right. So, we're going to go an hour to Granger's turn four. So, Grange has kept me locked in combat here. He has moved unit forward to try and deal with that, another unit has moved around to try and deal with them as well. He's fallen back the Heavy Flamer Chimera, from what he can, down here, but the other Chimera stayed locked in combat. Um, he's moved his priest up, he's ran and tried to move forward to get into my deployment zone, and his other priest has moved forward, same as these Ogrins. Right then, sir, what is it you're doing next? Alright, we'll start with the Smarters. Yep. And the first one, he's going to use the Vox from them. To order them yeah. to first rank fire, oh, second rank fire. Oh, look at that. Right, his flame is not in range, but he's got 25 shots with his lav guns. So we are coming to crunch time. There we go. There go. And he needs fours and no rerolls this time. No. Needing fours. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds, mate. Eight dice in my hand. Ten guys left. Fives and sixes. Lost six. So next order. He's going to use the Vox again. Yep. Now to order these. Yep. To first rank fire, second rank fire. And try and finish again. off them yep. four. So that's 16 last gun shots to start with. Yep. You've knocked your priest off the bottom. Oh, okay. Rolling to wound. Oh, I, I did take the mic out of the fact that yeah, he didn't yeah, actually yeah. get many, but he got four. I saved two. And then a plasma. Yep. Did you overcharge? No, no, he didn't. No. <laughs> so, two down. Right, so the wyvern, heavy bolter, is going to fire into the them, and then its actual fud 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 is going into this one lowly. <laughs> Go on then, sir. Heavy water first. Yep. He has to re-roll his ones. Two. Yep. One. Not in cover. Six to save. No. That's oh, another one gone. So the wyvern opening up now. Oh dear. Six oh, shots. Oh, six. Uh, have you got a minimum range on wyvern? Not that I'm aware of. I'm thinking of an old rule there. Never mind. So, needing fours. Yep. Rolling ones. Get a fail. Oh. oh no. Then fours. Yeah, it's toughness four. Re rolling. Two. 
follow up because it's in cover. Saved one. Ignores a wound on a five. Saved it. Hmm. He is still alive. So that's disappointing. It is. Right then. Yep. Be right, there. so this unit now is going to pour heavy bolt of fire plus plasma gun plus a couple of las guns into the other end to try and get rid of him. Right, heavy bolt test? Yep. All hit. All wounds. Three wounds. I'm in cover. So. Oh, Adderant's gone down. And then three las gun shots of yep. these lads. Nothing. Right, re roll the one. Just stood still. Hit. Yeah. Wounds. Saved. Yeah. And then this final squad here. Yep. Uh, we'll put everything it can see over into that unit. Right, okay. So, three Let him get down. In the area. Right, okay. so. Uh, Grange has reduced that down to one. And he's actually, we did a bit of shooting off camera and he's not too off them, so they're fine. They're not going to be failing in morale anytime soon. Um, so he's going to be going into combat phase, Granger's charging phase. So what are you charging? And um, might as well record it because we're losing out of right. stuff to do. <laughs> he's going to be charging into yep, this I thought so. and the tank. These are going to be charging into him and the tank. Okay. So I'm going to charge yep. them first. Yeah, they're in. So, so dump. Yeah. And then him. Yeah. And so dump. Okay. Right. Uh, I think that's all the charging I'm going to do. I think that's all the charging you can do, yeah. actually, unless you want to charge that block down there. No, I think he's going to run away. Okay. Right then, sir. Right. Go ahead. So we'll start with uh, him. Him. Right. That guy is going to go against a one wound character. He might be able to score some points here. Uh, I hit on fours, but I'm <laughs> I'm a zealot. So, so according to your rules, you get to re-roll your hits. Yep. So I'm gonna have another go at that. Yeah. Oh, that's a, better. That's a lot better. Yeah, right. uh, strength three, toughness. Toughness three. Ah, nothing. Ah, right. So his character versus character did not pay off. Um, you've got to now go with the Ogwins. Because they're the only yeah. unit that charged. So this lad's going to yep. hit him, no and then the other one's going to yeah, yeah. smash into that unit. So he's got... So six attacks going against my thing, and he gets a reroll once because Yarrick's within Yarrick. six. Let's get that one out of the way. Uh, that's all of those at a minus um, one. Have I smushed you to paste? He's dead. The character's dead, but he didn't kill him with a character. Yes. That's disappointing. And I actually don't think you could have... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and then the He's other one it. against the tank. So three, four, five attack standard. Yep. We roll it in the one. Right, yep. All hit. Five, so they're going to yep. need fives now. Uh, two. Two wounds. Two saves. Um, then you get to pick a combat. Right, I will put... Yarrick into the tank. Okay. So three attacks. We're rolling ones. One hit. Yep. Fives. No. And then I pick one. My guy's still alive. So he hits five of them. Two to kill with rerolls. And he murders five of them. Yeah, great work. So. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those couple of attack back. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, then you've got your... Then I've got this over here too. You've got him. Well, you can go with him first if you want. Actually, I'll do yeah. Addo in there then. So, four attacks, five plus of the war hymns. Okay. Rerolling one because of Yarrick. Yep. Does he need, he needs threes, doesn't he? Yeah. Strength is six, so he's going to need seven, fives seven, still. Seven, well, five. still need fives. So two got through, minus one. And how much damage? Straight two. Straight two. Takes it down to two. 
go. My turn. Oh, yeah, no, I get no, to no, attack. In to fact, it. yeah, you can, because I've got to do them one at a time. So the first one hits you and wounds you. I see. Doesn't wound. Go on, you get the fight. I'll tap back. Yep. So <laughs> I'll roll a dice. Yeah. I think I've got three hit, three, three right, attacks. No, I think you've still got three attacks, actually, yeah. needing sixes. Right. So that one counts. So we'll do another. And then, yep, one. so one hit, one Boom. wound, saved. Yeah. And then the other two attacking, one hit. No wounds. Right, there we go. That's all then done. And then just over there, three, yeah. four, five. So you got six four, attacks. three, four, five, six. Yeah, six attacks against me. Me in force. In fact, actually, I should have gone me in first, regardless. One and wound. One wound. You saved it. Yeah. Right, so morale test on them. Then with a minus five. Well, five. Six. six. Yeah, six pass. Damn you. I needed you to. Run away. run away! I needed you to run away. That's bad. And then my morale test, just take him off. There you go, friend. Yay! These don't need a morale, because of course the leadership's eight. Right. We're now going to go into my turn oh. four, is it? Yeah, let's go and figure out. Have you really got points. any points? Yeah, that's a good point. Right, I've kind of just gone and done my turn because I did, didn't do very su successful. I managed to knock off a couple more wounds from that, which reduces it down to three. I don't think you're in the last profile on that one there. And he managed to murder all them, but I, I actually got a perils. So I suffered two um, wounds myself. I wanted to perils all them off and then charge round and get that wyvern. And unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, those two broke off because I think uh, I'm going to try and probably kill a character <laughs> if he decides he's going to stand there. And uh, that last cannon uh, thing he also broke off, but the, the other one that's in the combat with the Chimera is stuck still. This unit broke off, we did discuss this because we didn't actually say whether or not tanks could go over this. So I reversed up and round. So he's still got two wounds left, but I can move the full finger because of, um, yeah. And he's going to now sit there ready and waiting and Granger's going to have to try and deal with it. Um, right then, sir. It's going to be now your turn five. Uh, what cards do you currently have? Well, I had behind enemy lines. Yep. I now have supremacy, so I need D3 objectives. You might be able to do that. I should be able to do that. I think I can. And defend objective six, which is... That there. one there, but you need to do that for two turns. I've got two characters stood there. Yes. Well, Supremacy is holding three objectives, so if you manage to kill that thing, you could possibly do that one there. Mm -hmm. You have to bring yourself up and round. Right, go on then, sir. It's going to be your turn five. Right, so Granger's orders are to take him with this unit. They're going to pour fire into this Magos to try and get rid of it. Yep, so heavy ball to start with. Yep. Do all those. All hit. Toughness of your Magos? Three, mate. They're all toughness three. Uh, one wound? Um, five up normally, four because of a thing minus one, so I need a five. And he's saved. Uh, plasma gun? Yep. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. And then how many LAS guns did you have? Uh, not many. And four LAS guns that can see. All four hit. Needing fours. Yeah. One. One. Four up. No, he's down to his last. And um, next order to these guys. Yep. They're going to pour fire down and to this. They're going to pour fire into that one. Yep, so plasma to start with, I will overcharge. Yep. Missed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but take aim, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, got it. Yeah. I'll go that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Failed to wound. Failed to wound. Auto cannon. Yep. Two, Two hits. hits. Two wounds, Two wounds, minus one on those sentinels. I got failed both. I don't know if he's explored. Yes, they do. No, he doesn't. So he just crumbles into nothing. Right, and then the Wyvern. Sorry, camera all over oh. the shot. Wyvern, Wyvern is now going to fire into him. Yeah. So, cheats, 46. <laughs> Eight, 10 shots. 10 shots. 
So normally 50-50 would mean fives to hit, but his re-rolls of ones would probably increase the chances. Oh, maybe not. One, six. two, three, four, five, six. Now he needs fives to wound, because it's strength of four and I'm toughness five. He gets to re-roll. Which is all which of them. Which is all of them. It's a good job he gets to re-roll. He does, that's, I think that's, a, yeah, it's definitely a call. None. None. So yeah, the wyvern whiffs. Whiffs completely down here. Uh, flamers. Yeah, Gonna two heavy take. flamers. We did check. He's just in range of them, which made me wince a little. That's really made me wince a little. Then you freeze. Come on, fail it. Oh, One, not bad. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Seven wounds. Seven wounds with a minus one, plus one for cover. So need fives. Save three. I'm within six of my standard. No of them on a six, so I lose three men. Just so you know, we've already done the grenade and got like, into them, and he actually didn't wound it. Right then, sir. So you've got rid of a sentinel. Yep. You've got rid of this down here. Yep. Uh, what charging. are you doing? Uh, I'm going to charge. Yep. First of all, the Chimera into your tank. Oh, are you? Right, see if I can do the same thing that you did. Melter guns. No, last cannon. Yes. Oh, shh. Yes. Seven or six? No. no. Yes! <laughs> do you explode? No. no. So, he's gone. <sighs> that, yeah, that's sweet, sweet revenge. <laughs> right. Oh, Grins, are you charging? Uh, yeah, still feeling brave. Right. Yeah, I'll go and do the same. Multi melters. Last cannon. D6 shots. Three. Nothing. <laughs> and. Where are we? Yeah. yeah. And my tank just went. Hey! Oh, no. <laughs> right, then, sir. So. Yep, yeah, within six of him. Standard so the sergeant going. Six because of the war hymns. Yeah. He's going in, needing six attacks, needing freeze. Oh dear. No rerolls, Garrick's not near. No, nope, nothing. nothing. The other guy, five attacks. One. One. Yep, let's go through. One left. Um, <laughs> I think that's a lot, my old love. Rightio. So, let's check your victory conditions. So, he's got behind enemy lines, which is one point. So that takes it to my lead is now only three points ahead. Supremacist got D3 points if you control any three objective markers. Oh. So he's got one, two, and three. three. So he gets D3. Just one dice. And he gets two. So I am still ahead by one victory point. And he's started to defend objective six, which will get two VPs for that at the end of turn five, unless I can stop him. We're going to go now into Gene Steelers, turn five. Right, so these guys have run round. I've already done my charge because there's barely anything to do. So these guys have run round. <laughs> the last cannon over there tried to take out that character, failed. Um, that's still locked in combat down there just to make sure that unit can't do anything. This moved back 10 inches to within the objective. They opened fire and did a wound onto him and that's pretty much it. So I've not done that well but it's attack time. So he's going to go against the Wyvern. I've used Mike from Beyond on him so he gets an extra attack so he's got 7 attacks. His strength is 7. Needs twos to hit. He's got five hits. Strength is seven, so he needs threes with re-rolls. None of them were sixes, which I was hoping for. Now they're all minus of three. So these are five hits at sixes. They all get three. Ooh. D3 per hit. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's enough. Does the vehicle explode? Oh, to God, it does. Oh. No, it is removed. 
I now claim objective six. Right, at the end of that turn, I have claimed secure objective five and secure objective six, putting me three points in the lead again. Now, because Granger got first turn, Grange rolls to see if the game continues. No. It doesn't. Game I win. win. Oh my God. That, that was insane. I shouldn't have won that. <laughs> I got murdered. I got murderized by a, a very shooty army. And I shouldn't have won. But I have learned some lessons. I have learned that I need to take more cult sentinels. Stomp them forward. Get into units and stop them from shooting. Because I'll be honest with you. If they stomp forward and they can't shoot. And always take Lehman Russes with heavy flamers. <laughs> <laughs> If they run forward as well and give them track, track guards, because I'll be honest with you, them rolling forward like that was insane. Uh, especially that one, what I got all the way up there. It just kept rolling and rolling and automatic hitting and it's just this beam off that's just running running at you. If I give them bulldozer blades and charge them, um, then of course they can actually hit on fives and sixes, which might be an idea to do. Have them wading forward, maybe be you know having the other tanks behind them like the rock grinders. Uh, interesting, very interesting, and uh, I'm surprised I actually won that. That was very, very close, especially towards the end of that game. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more. If you didn't watch this on the website, then, of course, you can. Um, pretty much nearly all the battle reports go on the website first, and there is some exclusive reports up there as well. And it's only £3 a month, which is about $4. You can pay with PayPal. If you just go onto my uh, homepage, rootstem.co.uk, you can have a look at that there. And that supports me as a creator as well. Right. Um, what do I have rest coming? I've got another painting battle, another painting report coming out, of course, on uh, Saturday. But I'm not quite sure which one that will be. I'll probably try and put it up on screen. But thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.